happening right now. Crews are working to remove from fruit from winter Texan lots in order to prevent the Mexican fruit fly from spreading. Last year, we reported how one grower lost thousands of dollars due to the fruit fly. Channel 5 Stevens at Avia traveled with crews as they removed the fruit. For something so small, it packs quite the expensive punch. For growers, it can be extremely devastating. A quarantine area can potentially uh, stop production of that grove. Lorenzo Garza is with the Texas Citrus Pest and Disease Management Corporation. Yeah. Their goal is to fight the fly. We're trying to prevent any type of quarantine areas that could emerge from having excess fruit on your tree. Right now, they are working to clear the fruit in winter Texan lots like where Donna Luther lives. We do have a few citrus trees around us, and we've picked from them and enjoyed them. One way the fly spreads is through trees that go unattended. This can be an issue, especially when winter Texans like Luther leave their trees behind and return to their homes further north. We were educated a few weeks ago about the need to, to take care of our trees so that we can also protect the local farmers' trees as well. So we've been educated as we've been down here. They're not just throwing all this fruit away. They're actually donating what can be used to the RGB Food Bank as well as Texas Parks and Wildlife. Garza says they are working on doing this at various winter Texan lots across the valley. We're trying to encourage uh, them to take off their fruit before April 1st. Luther says she'll be sure to take care of her trees before leaving this summer. In Donna, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 6. If you own a citrus tree, listen up. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. The USDA is urging everyone to make sure that they remove all fruit from their trees by April 1st as a way to prevent the Mexican fruit fly from spreading. You can also report all citrus disease online by going to aphis.usda.gov.